Bonjour, aujourd'hui nous allons apprendre le temps le futur proche. Le futur proche, c'est un temps pour exprimer une action qui se déroule en avenir mais très proche du présent. So future proche is a tense which is used to talk about an action which takes place in future but it is very near to the present. In English this can be translated as is going to, I am going to study. So this is something I'm not doing right now, I will not do later but I'm going to do very soon from now and we use future proche. Let us see how we use this tense. Le futur proche est utilisé pour exprimer une action qui veut se dérouler dans un avenir très proche au présent. So we use it for an action which is going to take place very near to the present in future. So to conjugate, to form the futur proche, we conjugate the verb aller in present tense with the subject and we put the infinitive form of the verb after that. So this is a very simple tense because all you have to know is the conjugation of verb aller in present tense which is je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. So look at this formation here, je vais faire. So with the subject, we conjugated the verb aller in present tense and we use the verb, the main verb, which we, the task that we wanted to talk about in the infinitive form, je vais faire. Tu vas parler, il va partir, elle va partir. So the only thing which is changing is the conjugation of aller and the verb remains in infinitive form. Nous allons étudier. Vous allez vous promener. So, attention au verbe prénominal. You have to be careful that ce will change as per the subject, but the verb will still not be conjugated. Ils vont travailler. Elles vont travailler. In the negation, it is the negation of ne and pa will be placed before and after the verb con aller, which is conjugated. Tu ne vas pas partir ce soir, for example. In interrogation, The inversion will also take place with this verb aller which is being conjugated. You have to understand that negation is only placed around the verb which is conjugated. Same in interrogation. Only the verb which is conjugated is inverse with the subject. So it becomes va tu partir and not partir tu aller for example. That will be a completely wrong sentence. In interrogative negative, the rule says that we put ne first. We conjugate the verb aller. We put subject and pa after that. So both the conjugation of alle and the subject will be placed between ne and pa and then comes the verb in infinitive. For example, ne vas-tu pas partir ce soir? So this tense is very simple. In English we use, we don't have a separate tense to talk about with approach, something which is going to happen very next. We use, I am going to do this, I am going to uh, study, I'm going to read. But in French, this is a different tense which is called futur proche and different from futur sample. I hope you have understood it. You have understood and you will be able to use it in your text and speaking. Thank you. Merci. Au revoir.